All right, let me be honest, building a PC in Singapore is kind of a niche thing. So there isn't a lot of information about it and also there isn't many options available. And because building a PC is not a cheap thing, it's really expensive, it costs hundreds of dollars. It's understandable that you as a buyer, a consumer in Singapore wants to get the best deal and the, the best thing possible for you. So what are the options? So, what are the options available and what are the pros and cons of using each of these options to buy and build your own PC? Now, you see, the problem isn't building the PC. The problem is getting the parts here in Singapore. Building a PC is really, really easy. All you have to do is go online, look at some Linus Tech Tips guides or something like that. Just don't look at the Verge guides. And you pretty much have, you know, a plethora of guides and tools and information to teach you how to build exactly the PC that you want. The problem is then to buy parts. And in Singapore, because we don't really have that much of a enthusiast PC population we just we can't just walk into like any PC hardware store and just buy parts instantly we're gonna have to hunt for them or we're gonna have to order them specifically for us so the options that we have available as a Singaporean consumer or you as a Singaporean viewer is a a local PC shop usually found at somewhere like Simlim Square or Funan or you know, those more niche uh, secluded malls Number two, it's to order online, be it from overseas retailers like Newegg or Amazon, which ship to Singapore, or to order locally from local retailers online, like on Shopee or Lazada. And then there's the third option, which is to buy secondhand, which is something that I do particularly enjoy. And usually you find you know, the, the secondhand market being alive on Carousel and Gumtree. Although I find that more recently, Carousel is just a more popular secondhand app and platform to buy, sell, trade stuff nowadays. So probably just talk about Carousel. But let's talk about the pros and cons of each of these three options. Let's talk about which one is good for you and any other tips any sort of like recommended stores and recommended stuff so let's start off with the first thing a local pc hardware shop when it comes to building a pc in singapore i think this is the default solution which is to buy stuff from local pc hardware shop going to simlim square going to you know local shops and just buying the pc and getting it instantly is a very nice thing and there's nothing wrong with local hardware shops in this era of e-commerce and uh, I think there are many pros to this. So one of the pros is that, of course, you get local warranty because these local shops use local distributors. So the warranty is local based. And if you want to get something serviced or replaced or fixed, you can get it locally. You don't have to mail it in for a long time, wait a couple of weeks before things get done. So that's really a bonus, especially if you're planning to really hit your computer hardware hard with, say, 100% load all the time. If you're doing something intensive like rendering or any sort of uh, heavy compute stuff. It's a good idea to get something with local warranty for that fast and convenient warranty replacement. Another pro of buying a PC locally with Simlim Square and all that stuff is definitely the fact that it's convenient because it's, you know, you can get your PC the same day that you buy it. So because, the sh because Singapore is so small, the max you have to travel is like 40 minutes to an hour, which isn't even that long compared to many other countries. But even then, it's unlikely that <laughs> travel time would take like an hour in Singapore there's pretty much nowhere that far from Simlim Square in Singapore but it takes some time to go there but you can get your PC within a few hours you can go there buy your parts go home build it or pay someone to build it and in Simlim Square or wherever you're buying it locally the advantage of the hardware shop will always be instant access to whatever you want to purchase uh, which is really nice another thing I like is that being a, you know a tech mall with many PC shops in one spot the competition is fierce and it makes price comparisons very, very easy. In fact, I would say it's even easier than going to an e-commerce uh, place website like Amazon or Newegg because in Simlim Square, you can go from shop to shop and figure out roughly what is the price range and negotiate prices for P the PC hardware that you want to buy, which is a massive advantage to online commerce or maybe perhaps secondhand because you might not be able to negotiate on those platforms as much and on like Amazon or Newegg, there's a 100% chance you can't negotiate for the prices. So if you're looking for maximum cost savings, sometimes going to a local PC shop might be even cheaper, even though most people think that online shopping is the cheapest way always. 
this is not true just do your due diligence and make sure you get the best deal for you uh, when it comes to price now what are the cons of buying locally so one of the things i don't like about local warranty is that actually it seems to be worse than the warranty provided by the actual companies itself so a local warranty usually is dealt and given out by a distributor of a brand's product with a local agency handling repairs and replacements and what i find is that in singapore the local warranty is about a year usually but if i were to say order a car directly from evga through new egg or something the warranty is about three years which is better than what you get with a lot of Singapore warranty now this is this might be a little bit of a generalization but I have found that local warranty while faster and more convenient does seem to have worse conditions than a international warranty because the middleman probably wants to save costs and all that stuff so there's that uh, another con of building PC from a hardware shop is that you're gonna have to transport the PC yourself of course, there are some services that can help you ship a PC from where you build it, but in Singapore, it's not really worth the money. Uh, if you want to build a PC at a shop, be prepared to get a car or book a taxi to bring your stuff home, or you might have to face a really long and difficult way home by carrying like a bunch of boxes and stuff. So there's that. So yeah, that's all for building a PC locally in a local shop. When it comes to recommendations, I say I would recommend Traypack in Simnim Square. They're on the fifth floor, they're kind of secluded. But if you walk circles and all the corners of the shop, if you hear loud blasting Bollywood Indian music, then the shop is there. That is the shop I'm talking about. It might not always have the best prices, but A, they are really easy to negotiate with and make a good deal with. B, they've always been consistently good. And C, they've always, you know, very competitive with their pricing. I find that it's a good place to start with comparisons, uh, price comparisons, so you kind of know how much to pay so that you don't get overcharged elsewhere. So there's that. Uh, let's talk about e-commerce especially with coronavirus and all the COVID-19 stuff going on everyone's staying at home uh, or maybe you're just too lazy to leave the house or you just don't have the time to go out there make a trip you want to order the parts into your into your home order a PC pre-built or order the parts yourself into your home what are the pros and cons of doing something like that well the pro is obviously a in terms of not in terms of time but rather in terms of the fact that you don't have to travel to get your stuff it comes to you it takes time to come to you but at least it comes to you it doesn't require you to go out of your way to go and collect the pc parts yourself uh, another pro of this is that Amazon and UX prices are very, very competitive to what you find in, say, Simlim Square. And while Simlim Square has really good prices, I find that about 7 out of 10 times, Amazon's prices seem to be better. Amazon and UX, like these online retailers' prices, seem to be better. Uh, so it's a give and take, it's a push and pull when it comes to prices. But the pro, I feel, of the advantage of shopping online is that you have so many more options, so many more variety in products, as well as possibly lower prices because of more diverse competition, uh, which is pretty good. Now, the disadvantages of e-commerce is pretty obvious. Uh, it's gonna take forever to ship because we're in Singapore, unless you have Amazon Prime, and even then, uh, it's going to take some time. And also, if you wanna have fast shipping, it usually costs a lot, especially since a lot of these warehouses aren't in Singapore, they're either in you know Asia and Taiwan, Japan or, or all the way in the US. So if you were to order something, it will take a long time before it reaches Singapore. So be, if you don't need your PC now immediately, it's okay to go e-commerce, especially if they're giving you a much better price. But if you need it now, consider other options because they take forever to reach. My friend ordered a PC once, it took him a month to get all the parts, which was very very annoying because by then the RTX 2080 came out because he ordered a GTX 1080 Ti which is kind of funny but that's a side story um, as it as and when it comes to international and local online e-retailers I would say that uh, the difference is very minimal the thing about local retailers is that shipping will take maybe a week or two a uh, max but if you order from online international retailers like Amazon or Newegg, depending on your luck, depending on where the retailer on Amazon or Newegg is, uh, it's going to take a variety of time from maybe two weeks to a month or even more. So you have to be wary of the time it takes to deliver all this stuff if you're ordering from things online. So that's that. Okay, let's talk about a final option and this is my favorite option and this one has become more and more popular which is to buy stuff secondhand. 
on platforms, buy sell trade platforms like Guntree or Carousel. Now, these in Singapore, these apps are really popular. If you are a Singaporean viewer, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. Carousel is all over the place. Gumtree is also really, really popular. And because of the fact that these platforms have a lot of niche hobbyists that using them, you tend to be able to find a lot of good parts and a lot of good stuff on there, especially if you're will willing to look old gen and like previous generation stuff, you're gonna find great, great deals because secondhand tech really falls a lot in price. Uh, and that's the thing about technology, it really doesn't keep its value very, very well. Uh, and that's, so if you're buying secondhand, you generally save a lot of money and you generally have much better, you know, value for money that way. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with buying secondhand, but when it comes to pros, there's a lot of pros. There's of the possibility of convenience because, you know, buying secondhand means the stuff can come to you. Like you can do a deal at your place instead of having to go out of your way. Uh, another pro is that the price, obviously, as I've been talking about it, the value for money is, is there. It's crazy good. And another pro is, of course, the fact that uh, you do have a lot of options when it comes to buying secondhand. Uh, and you do get to see a lot of niche products when it comes to secondhand uh, without spending so much money. Uh, so for an example, if I wanted to buy a brand new fancy mechanical keyboard of, with a weird layout and weird keycaps, it's going to cost me a lot. But if someone's trying to clear out stuff that they impulse bought, uh, chances are you can land a good deal, So especially if you know what you're doing on these platforms. But when it comes to disadvantages, there's of course the fact that used PC hardware might fail on you, especially if you use something like SSDs or memory. Uh, or hard drives, don't buy hard drives secondhand ever. Uh, used PC hardware might fail on you, and used PC hardware might you know might be broken on entry. Uh, it, you might get scammed, especially if you do say meetups that that aren't deal on the spot. If you do meetups, then yeah, sure, you, it's unlikely you get scammed. But if you're doing something where you do wireless payment and then they mail it to you, you might get scammed like on eBay and stuff. But if you do meetups and you're careful and you test the hardware before paying, then I think you should be fine buying secondhand. Just make sure you do your due diligence and don't get scammed and don't get screwed over by someone who is a bit of a prick. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope it, you found it helpful. Uh, when it, So I guess that's it for all the options available for you. In conclusion, what should you get? For me, I really like buying secondhand because I'm trying always to squeeze the most out of my budget. Uh, but you have to really know what you're doing. You have to really be careful because you can easily get scammed. I have been scammed and burnt before, so that's a very big warning. I feel like anyone building a PC in Singapore should really check out local hardware shops like Sim those at Simnim Square first before even considering e-commerce. Uh, but make sure you, you do your due diligence and compare prices because at the end of the day, price is probably one of the biggest factors deciding whether you should buy from here or from there. So really, really do consider. Uh, but I do want to say that maybe we should really support these local hardware shops because they seem to be dying off and that's kind of sad. And also they often have really good prices. Uh, so long as you're willing to negotiate on give them a chance. So that's that for this video. I hope you found it helpful if you're building a PC in Singapore. If you did, thank you so much. Uh, if you did, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll appreciate it. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments. I really want to talk to you. I reply to every single comment. Thanks for watching and goodbye.